them eyes, UMOD, uh, Thomas here with G3 ZHI, uh, Ian, over. Okay, MI zero MOD, uh, Thomas and also Ian. I uh, hope everybody's keeping fine there. I'm just out mobile here in the car again, and uh, it's just turned on there and heard you on. So uh, I thought I'd give you a shout there. So uh, how's everything today, Thomas? At your end. All fine. Uh, all fine. Uh, <clears throat> Mid. I uh, can't complain. Uh, I'm just looking at the clock here. I'll uh, school run. I'm, I'm not, I'm okay. I just have to watch my time there. It's uh, Granddad's Taxi, you know. H.I. Keep him well, mate. Thank you. Nice to meet you for the second time. I'll go just in a bit of a QSO there with Ian. Ian was giving a wee demonstration here this morning on uh, peanut there, what you can do and what you can't do. Very interesting. So I just came on here to thank him. And uh, we got on to another subject and what have you, you know, it, uh, <laughs> uh, it makes the steam come out of my ears at times, sir. You, you know, it, it, it's annoying the way uh, some amateurs, their, their attitude and organisations, I just think it's all wrong. And, uh, well, thank God we're not all like that. Over to you, Ian. G3 ZHIMI, so MOT. Well, that's right, and I just it, I find it a bit frustrating, really, when you do get that attitude, and uh, you feel that people are sitting on information that could be helpful, uh, and why they won't uh, pursue it, and yet, um, you know, in the Radcom, you get all these stories, or you get all these articles, which are way above the uh, university level, and uh, you think to yourself, well, we're only amateurs, who's going to make a detail of this? Uh, very technical and. You know, you think, well, how many people are going to benefit from this? When, on the other hand, uh, something that's basic and simple like this is, a lot of people could benefit from it. So I don't get it. It's just started to rain here. And very good afternoon to you, Jared. I was just looking at his license, and um, it, we haven't got. Um, oh, it doesn't expire. It's good. Um, it cho shows me it's valid and it expires in 2028, his licence, so that's good. So I don't know whether they'd accept this or not, actually, uh, off the screen. Um, so they might do, because I could, I could probably use that to um, get him validated uh, if I print screen and, uh, and email that. Because it's uh, it's got the valid date. That's the import. That's what they're looking for. So he's good while to 2028. Tell him, <laughs> H I. Uh, I'll let you tell me. Um, talk to him tonight, and if he wants me to go ahead, uh, then I, it looks like I'm good to do it. So um, that shouldn't be a problem, uh, and I can do it for both. So uh, that's okay. Uh, I'm going to make this my final. I'm going out in a bit. And I uh, need to get one or two things and uh, get ready. So I wish you both uh, 73s and uh, thanks for the contact. Around to you, Jared. Okay, and uh, thanks very much uh, for bringing me back in there. And uh, yep, uh, hopefully you will get that followed out there. And uh, I'm quite enjoying Peanut uh, myself. Uh, I've had Peanut from the day one. And actually, last week, Ian, I. I'd there's a couple of DMR repeaters beside me, and uh, I can go on with DMR uh, from my handheld into them. And I actually tried out the reflector Lornite uh, going RF into the re repeater, and it came out in the peanut, so uh, I was quite happy with that there. So uh, the crossover and all seems to be working fine there. Okay, uh, Ian, if that's your final, I will let you uh, put it back to Thomas there for your final also, and I will catch you later on, Ian. Okay, yeah, you might pass that on to Thomas anyway and tell him which repeaters you're doing that with. Okay, I'll get off. Bye, Tom. Bye. KG3 ZHI, my show MOD. It jerked there. The repeaters are over in Scotland, so the Orient. So uh, uh, I must fiddle about here later on and, and get this wee handheld program as well at the weekend. But I, I, I hope to be talking to Earl about 7 o'clock this evening, Ian. And uh, sure, maybe catch up with you later on this evening, if not, maybe tomorrow. And uh, I'll get a chat with him, but that, that would be handier. 
and uh, okay, he's a wee bit forgetful at times, sir. He gets excited, gets annoyed that he, he he just can't do what he used to do. But one hell of a gentleman, you know, you, you know is uh, uh, he was into the key big time, and uh, so he was he was heavily into the CW, you know. But love to love to come on for local chat and what have you, and uh, say down to uh, health conditions. He took the antenna mask. You want to see the antenna tar he had up? All taken down there not that long ago, and just got rid of the whole lot. So we did, and uh, sad to see, sad to see that somebody was involved in amateur radio most of his life. Uh, general license, uh, you, you know so. If we can get him sorted out, I'll be delighted there. And also Birdie over here. Uh, see if we can get wee Birdie sorted out. You, you know, that's that's what it's all about. Okay, I'll make us my final two. Go and get a wee cup of tea here. And get a couple of things done there. It'll not be long until it's time to do school runs. Ian, been a pleasure as always. And uh, we'll, we'll talk soon. Uh, Jared, good to hear you also. And... Uh, We'll uh, maybe get one with you later if you're about. You're working very well, sounding good. G3 said a child to take it MI, zero MOD in the group. Yeah, okay, Tom, thanks for that. And uh, we'll catch you. Let me know how, 